Corporate Tax Incidents Problem 1. Onion Corporation Manufactures Appliances. This year, the government increased the corporate tax rate by 5%. Onion responded by raising its prices. Customer demand remained steady. Therefore, Onion's before-tax profits remained constant. Who bears the incidence of the increase in Onion's corporate tax? How would your answer change if Onion did not raise prices, resulting in a decline in its after-tax profits and a drop in the market price of its stock? This problem is actually really straightforward and a really conceptual definitional type question. It's just to make you think about ultimately who pays tax in our society. So we've got the corporation manufacturers and manufacturing corporations are the best ones to use. So if the government's increasing the corporate tax rate by 5% and the demand stays the same. Customer demand remains the same. So they're going to continue to, even though prices are going to go up because as you know, when a business, when, when costs go up, then obviously the, prices usually when it comes to economics almost always what happens are the prices they get reflected in the product through supply demand through the through the curve and whatnot and those items so that the business can stay afloat in terms of what's going on now they can you can shift the demand and supply curve but here it says that they remain steady customer demand remains steady okay and it was because it responded by raising its prices so again this is really a no-brainer so the after tax, I'm sorry, before tax profits, even before the 5% remain the same. So who bears the incidence? And the incidence means ultimately who bears the, the cost of this tax. Obviously, Onion Corporation files is a C corporation. Again, nothing here as corporation. So Onion Corporation has to pay tax. And then the shareholders have to pay tax on distributions, all that good stuff. And the owners are paying the tax by the corporation by you know, through the through the market price and all those things of the stock, but who bears the incidence? The incidence means in the end of the day. So another example of this, and I'll answer the question in a moment, but it's like sales taxes. Like when you go to um, a store and you buy something, now groceries aren't a good example, but services. If you buy a service, you ultimately have to pay, the company collects it and then sends it to the state or the lo local authority, whatever it is. So the question is incidence. Incidence means ultimately, who bears the, the responsibility here? So you kind of just have to read the facts and it says that basically it raised the prices to adjust for the 5% tax. So, and the demand stays the same. So who bears the incidence on the increase in the Onion's corporate tax, the 5%? That's gonna be Onion's customers. So the customers of the corporation ultimately are the ones that bear the cost. And this happens mostly in our society. When, 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 in, when tax rates rise, Usually what happens, and especially, uh, I mean, obviously, so there, there's there's different policy elements in tax. There is what we call uh, administrative concern, where we look at the administrative, administer, the simplicity, I should say, of taxes, administering them by the IRS, and also the ability for taxpayers to easily be able to complete their taxes, you know, fill out tax returns and understand the law. That's a huge issue, huge area. Uh, we could probably spend a whole, you know, hour talking about that. There's also equity or fairness, which you look at different taxpayers in different situations. Like for, like for example, if you have a taxpayer with children and you have a taxpayer that does not have children, right? A married couple with children versus without children, maybe certain things are taxed a different way. And we ask, okay, well, is that fair? Or is it not fair? Or maybe you look at like different careers, different paths. You know, you look at things like someone owning a home versus renting a home, even though, you know, they might be in a similar economic situation just because they rent versus own, there might be different tax benefits. We think about things like that. The last thing is about efficiency, which deals with economics. And it goes to this. There are certain products that if the price shifts, elasticity and inelastic items, right? If it's inelastic, then a price change isn't really going to be as big of a deal. So if this manufactured appliance is so important that it's in, it has inelastic demand that the prices don't really change, ultimately, yeah, the tax rates are going to ultimately go to the customer. So the customer of the customers of Onion Corporation, they are the ones here that bear the incidents in this specific example, not the shareholders, not the corporation, not the employees. Now you can argue that in that that at first they're the ones that bear that cost, right? Because um, the corporation has to pay tax on it, and you know through the tax return and the shareholders, of course, that might change something about their price, their you know the stock or something like that. But ultimately, it goes to the customers of Onion Corporation because again, their the prices are go are increasing, okay? And the idea there is that prices are going up, demand stays the same, then the tax return 
you should have a higher sales number, right? And tax number is higher. So then it should have, again, the same um, before tax profit. So when you think of it that way, it really is a customer. If it's the same before tax profits, that means taxes aren't really going to change. And you're thinking like, well, yeah, it affects the corporation, right? Or it could affect the stock price, things like that. Because when, when, when tax rates do rise, there has been, you know, known changes in stock prices and things like that over time that, that has been shown. So you might be making that argument. Oh yeah. When the 5% corporate tax rate goes up, but remember they're going to be generating more, more income in their business. And yeah, the, the, but they still have the same, um, you know, before the tax increase profit. So just keep that in mind. So ultimately the customers of Onion Corporation, that's the answer for this one. Another variation, let's consider that one. How would your answer change if Onion did not raise prices? So what if they did not raise the prices? Okay, they did not raise the prices, resulting in decline in its after-tax profits and a drop in the market price of its stock. So now it really does, okay? So the corporation is gonna have to pay more in taxes, yes. Um, the customers do not have to. So this is, an, let's say it's an elastic market, right? It's something like uh, something that's not, that's, that's elastic. There's just a lot of competition and, you know, technology type um, industry, stuff like that. Not something that's inelastic where there's, you know, a price change doesn't really affect things like gasoline, for example. Well, it's that now, now, now it changes, now it changes a bunch. It changes a bunch. The picture changes because if you think about the tax return, now they are paying more in taxes. So ultimately the question is who bears the cost? Well, it's not the customers because remember we didn't raise prices. So it's not the customers. So that, that leads us to it's the corporation or the shareholders. So what do you think? The corporation or shareholders, it's going to be the shareholders. Cause again, incidents is all about ultimate, ultimately who bears ultimate party that bears responsibility for that ultimate responsibility is incidents ultimate responsibility. So that's going to be the shareholders in this case. So really between these two, it's really ultimately they're going to be shareholders or customers. And the first one's the customers, they bear it because uh, they raise the prices. If you don't raise the prices and then you have declining profits and market price, then it's going to be the shareholders of the corporation of onion corporation here. They're the ones that bear the incidents in this situation. Okay. So it's not the customers in this one. It is the shareholders of onion corporation. And this problem is just meant to show you that think about ultimately who bears corporate tax in our society. C customers, sometimes shareholders depends on what's going on, depends on the industry, because a lot of times the corporate tax rate does change and it affects things.